What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Fifi Dominique, and I'm back once again with another video. We're back again with the eyelashes, okay? This time, I picked up a, a different pack from Amazon. I'm hoping that this goes better this time this is a it has like a different base so i think that the, the ones that i bought before were like indi individuals like the base was very skinny so i'm gonna try these ones out and i hope that it looks a lot better this one also comes in different lengths so it's from 10 millimeters to 16 so 10 12 14 15 16. so we're gonna try the lashes again I'm also going to do my hair in a protective style. I'm going to braid it up. Um, I'm going to do the Jade Away to braids. Um, something fast, something quick, because I'm tired of looking crazy. This is this the silk pressed hair that I did like a few weeks ago. So I'm definitely going to wash my hair out because there's a lot of product built up in here. And it's best to braid your hair on freshly cleaned hair. So I'm going to go and wash my hair quickly, blow dry it. Then I'm going to do the lashes so I can look kind of cute while I'm doing my hair. And then I'm also going to be putting on some press-on nails. These are the ones I'm going to do. I got from my local beauty supply store. And yeah, so we're going to kind of revamp. You know what I'm saying? Look kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? To get ready to go where? Nowhere. But it's okay. Because sometimes you just got to look good to feel good. And that's what I'm about to do. So let's go wash this hair. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the one that I want to use, but it's what I got. So this one's not the Oh, my head is itchy. may be late to the party but for anybody else that may be late to the party this brush this brush i don't know what it's called but this get you one get you one of these brushes i got it from the hair store it is so good when it comes to detangling like my daughter hates when I comb her hair and her hair gets super knotted and it's like so hard to comb her hair out because it just knots on top of knots. But when I use this, oh my gosh, it's a breeze and there's no crying, no tears. So get you one of these brushes if you have trouble detangling your hair. I honestly, I usually just use the wide tooth comb. I'm, I'm just, I'm using this one for the very first time on my hair, just to see how it's gonna do with my hair. But I usually use the wide tooth comb because I'm, I'm not tender headed. But this brush is doing, it's doing its thing right now. It is doing its thing. Okay, honestly. I don't feel like sectioning my hair. I don't want to section my hair. I feel like that's probably the only benefit with the wide tooth comb. I don't have to section my hair with the wide tooth comb, but with this brush, I feel like I might have to section my hair to get to the nitty gritties. Yeah, that brush is good and everything um, in terms of like tugging at your hair. Awesome, amazing. But like in terms of effectiveness with 
a head full of hair. I'm gonna just stick to what I know when it comes to hair washing. Yeah, we're just gonna we just gonna work with comb. I'll, I'll be back when I'm done detangling. Okay. So when I blow dry my hair, um, I always make sure to use heat protectant. The heat protectant, my favorite heat protectant that I use is done. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the backup one. This one, I'm not really a fan of. I feel like it makes your hair kind of crispy and I don't know why. Oh, it says adds light hold. Why? You know, I just realized that. Anyways, gotta protect the hair though. Gotta protect the curls, you know what I'm saying? Do I have any heat damage from my from when I straighten it? <gasps> I have heat damage. <gasps> Oh my, you see, this is because I never had enough um, heat protectant when I straightened my hair and I straightened my hair on all the oils and product. That was such a bad idea. I'm gonna try to do a hair mask probably whenever I take these braids out. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a hair mask and see if I can bring them curls back. sucks when you know how to do your own hair you don't want to pay anybody else to do it like you don't because you know how to do it yourself but then it's like when you start doing it you're like i wish i had someone to do my hair for real because my arm right now it hasn't recovered from from the hair washing contemplating if I want to do my lashes or if I want to go make breakfast. What time is it? It's 10.36. 10.36. I start work in an hour and a half. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do everything. All right, y'all, I am back with a full belly. And with 30 minutes left on the clock before I start work. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to finish my hair before I start work. So I'm probably gonna have to do it later, but at least the hard part's done. The hard part is done, so it's fine. I'm not putting these on backwards. I seen somebody put them on the other way one time, and I was like, hold on. Have I been putting them on wrong the whole time? Like this. Is it supposed to be like this? Is it? I don't know. Because I feel like 
this kind of covers more ground this way, right? Okay, we're going to flip it. Let's put you back in some juice. All right. All right, so let's see how fast we can do these lashes. Uh, so I'm working with a new... Um, I'm working with a new brand this time. It's called B and Q. It comes with its bond seal tweezers and the lashes. Like, what more can you ask for? Nothing. Nothing more. I want to kind of do like the cat eye effect. So oh, the eyebrows are screaming, help me. Oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna do. 10, 12, and 14. And hopefully that gives me a cat eye look. 10, we going with 10, 12, 14. If anything, I'm gonna just adjust and fix what I need to fix. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna apply the bound. Honestly, I try to get it to the only the root of the lashes, but it's so hard to just get it at the root. Oh my god, look. And it's so hard not to get this product in your eye. Maybe you should take your time and not rush. That might help. Alright. 10, 12, 14. Should I do two tens, a 12, and a 14? Or 10, two 12s, and a 14. What y'all think? Honestly. Wait, why do I feel so handicapped right now? Am I holding the tweezers wrong? <laughs> okay. So we got the 10 on. 10. Yeah, I'm going to do two 10s. Some more bond on there. Okay, okay. Okay, we work with something. We'll work with something. It doesn't look like I have any lashes on. Okay, let's jump to 12. <laughs> okay, 12, 12, 12. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Okay. 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 Should we jump to 14? Let me see how 14 looks. I feel like it still looks kind of short to me. So 10, 10, 12, and we're jumping to 14. Put a little bone on me. So putting the bond on top of the lash strip is also helping. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So we did 10, 10, 12, and 14. Kind of weird. Is that my lash that's going far away or is that? Okay, whatever. Now, should we pop on a 16? Another 14. We should do 16. No, there's 15 too. Let's do, let's jump to 16, girl. I'm trying to look like I got my lashes done, okay? I ain't trying to look like I got mascara on. So 10, 10, 12, 14, and 16. I have space for another lash that I could put on here. So we're gonna do one more 16 on here. Oh, y'all yeah, don't come for me if I'm holding these tweezers wrong. The girl is trying. Okay. Okay. This one might have to be the one. 
This glue, the lashes are okay. I can't say this is my favorite, <laughs> but the glue is gluing quick. They look like it's given like wispy-ish. It's given, might need to do another layer. But let's just do the next side real quick. Wait, before I do that, we gotta seal it. Let's seal the girl and we're gonna do the next side. Ooh, okay. This is not like my first, um. This is nothing like the first one. This this seal comes off like a lot. The other one, I felt like the seal was barely coming off. Okay, and the seal is not, it's not like burning my eyes or anything. The fumes are not strong. So that's good. I'm just gonna do another layer of seal. Don't touch the hairs with the seal. You're going to end up with spikes, girl. Jump to the next side real quick. Because I got, how much time I got left? I got 15 minutes till I start work. So, I just feel so handicapped with these tweezers, though. Like, what? Don't wash the eyebrows, but, like, the lashes? Okay. Hold on. You guys. I like this side better. Something about this side is giving like, I don't know, something right there, but okay. <laughs> and just again, like when you're applying the seal, cause this has happened to me before, do not get the seal on the lashes because you gonna end up with spikes. Your lashes gonna be prickly and spiky, and it's gonna look like they're just wet all the time. Keep the seal at the base. And I'm not even gonna look here, because yeah, I'm gonna just use this mirror over here, okay? Oh yeah. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. It looks so good. Hair, we're gonna have to take a rain check on that. So I'm gonna call you guys back when it's time to do the hair, okay?
All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video. I'm gonna just show you how my hair turned out. I'm currently working right now. Just want to get a quick little, <laughs> little ashes. And just so you guys know, this has been, I did this, what day was it? Friday night. So the braids are still holding on tight. The braids are still holding on, so it's been about, hold on. Six days since I did my hair, guys. And the lashes. The lashes were seven days. I did the lashes the day before I did my hair. And yeah, the nails I just put on like two days ago. How we like them. <laughs> So this is what I got on for work today. Just like, you know, some little leggings, a little sweater. I ain't got no earrings on. I ain't got no makeup on because, you know, don't need it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss an upload. Your girl is being consistent. You got to give it to me. You got to give it to me. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace. And don't mind the laundry in the back. It's gonna get dealt with eventually.